hello again it's sorry here and i'm going to make a make an easel card with lots of martha stewart's butterflies so what i have started off with is to cut a piece of paper that measures six by 12 inches i have then put this one on the scoreboard here and i have folded it at six and nine and then i have just Oh, I'm sorry, I scored it at six and nine and then I folded it. So I'm going to end up with a card like that's going to look like this. But I'm actually going to make a different take on this one. It was my friend Agneta that actually showed me that, hey, wouldn't, be a, wouldn't it be a cool idea to actually have this card in this way, just standing like so. So I'm just trying to make that work. Although I know that the easel card should be like this. So I think I'll just uh, get started with the It seems like I'm missing a piece. Here's one. No, actually, no, no, I got it. I have uh, cut out a butterfly from Spellbinders. It's a set of three different kinds of butterflies. And um, I'm going to adhere that one to this piece of paper and I have cut a piece of paper that measures five times five inches and then I have cut the corners with this corner butterfly punch and then the edge butterfly punch or both of these are from the Martha Stewart collection and uh, I'm also going to mat this <coughs> with some corrugated cardstock or paper. I just love the effect it gives. And I also need to remind myself of actually uh, not gluing all of this down. But I'm going to start off with the butterflies because they are going to stick on completely on the corrugated paper. And I have also inked the edges of this corrugated paper and uh, most of the papers with walnut stain. It's um, distressing from Tim Holtz. So it looks like that now. And then I'm going to sort of make it look like this. So the X's and O's go in that direction. I'm not making this with a love theme or anything, but I just felt like making use of those pale blue papers that just... Well, that paper actually, just one piece of paper. Just like that, the effect against the orange that comes later on. Like so, and I have also used a stamp from Prima. It's a clear stamp with a lovely butterfly and there's a girl in the middle. And I have colored it with Copic pens and then I have glittered it with, um, with distressed stickles. And I thought it would be a, quite a fun idea actually to just put this girl in the middle here. Just trying to make her pop in the middle. And I have also cut out the girl once just to put on top of this butterfly so it will give some dynamic and uh, lift to it all. So on the back side here I've used some double sided foam adhesive and I'm just putting it there just to give it a lift really. A lift. Ah, a butterfly flies so it gives you sort of a lift thing going on there. So let's just put this one down here like so. So now it looks like that. And then I'm going to continue with the inner piece here. And I'm just using these colors, yellow, orange, and some pale blue. Just felt like keeping it sort of springy. And let's see what we can do with this one. Should could, could go just a little bit up, like so. 
and I've also inked the edges here with some walnut stain. And I made a second piece of paper with the same butterfly punches. And the same thing goes here. I'm just going to put this one in the right direction. These butterflies come out really nicely against that background. So now I've come so far, and then I'm thinking of putting this, just a little bit of piece, piece of uh, corrugated paper here, and I ink the edges on that one, and I just tore this one. Didn't cut it. So I'm thinking perhaps it'll stick nicely there. Actually, I could use those butterflies as a support as well. And I'm going for the look of just putting that one a little bit askew there. So it'll actually have some kind of support when it's standing on it like that. And then I just copy this piece of, and this is a stamp from Tim Holtz. It says something about change. Change is to give up what we are to become what we could be. And I think that's quite relevant for me and my situation right now. I'm going through some changes. And they are sort of exciting, but they are sort of scary at the same time. Well, I think I'll just have to pit take another piece of paper because the corrugated cardstock or paper is just a little bit too thick. And I don't want that... Um, text a bit tilting too much. So I'm putting just another piece of double-sided foam adhesive there and then I'm going to try to correct that um, tear there just to put it like that. So now nobody knows anything about that being broken or torn before. So you might think that I'm ready here and it's enough with butterflies, but actually I've got another butterfly punch going on here. And it isn't just a punch, it's also a stamp um, punch. So it's got three different kinds of butterfly stamps here, clear stamps. And you can store them nicely here under that lid. And the stamps have different kinds of patterns and then you just punch out those butterflies afterwards. And I have mounted two of the butterflies together just to give it a lift, if you can see that. And I'm going to fasten this with some, guess what, foam adhesive. Just hoping it won't be too wild there. So this is definitely a butterfly -y card, I must say. I'm just thinking of putting that one there, having those wings popping up just a little bit. And you could refer to that, uh, the fact that a butterfly isn't a butterfly from the start. It actually goes through some changes to become what it is. And that could go for just anybody really. So there's a different take of um, the, the easel card. I hope you enjoyed that one and I wish you all the best until next time. Bye bye.